Hi, my name is Maria, and today, along with my partner, Helen, we will be presenting on our program curriculum, Balanced Beings. Our program curriculum will focus on elderly falls. There are 52 million falls annually. Some consequences of falling include injury, trauma, decreased functionality, medically institutionalized, poor quality of life. In addition, as a result of fear of falling, social isolation and avoidance of activities lead to depressive episodes. It is estimated that falls cost $754 million and non-fatal falls up to $50 billion each year. By year 2030, it is estimated that falls among 65 years or older will increase by 55%. The Balanced Beans program cur curriculum is to prevent falls among individuals aged 65 years or older in the United States. The Balanced Beans program curriculum includes three sessions. Each session includes three st student learning objectives that support the curriculum's goal. Each of the three lesson plans written will include three these domains of instruction. Cognitive, which would target knowledge. Effective, which would target attitudes. And lastly, psychomotor, which will target skills. Balanced beings will be based on two theories, the health belief model and the social cognitive theory. We chose the health belief model because it was found to be effective in an osteoporosis study focused on addressing perceived benefits through preventative behaviors, not only after the intervention, but also six months later. We also chose the social cognitive theory because outcome expectations and self-efficacy was found to be the strongest predictor in a study to promote physical activity among elderly African Americans. The entirety of Balanced Beings will be taught by us, Helen and Maria. We will recruit participants through local orthopedic and primary care providers offices. We will do this by posting flyers with our contact information to register for our program. And during this waiting period, we will work with the HR department of our chosen facility to secure a conference room to conduct the program. We will ideally be teaching the program around the times of 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. because research shows that it is the best time to minimize any distractions. We will also be teaching the program on a weekday, preferably a Tuesday to hopefully coincide with participants going before or after their orthopedic appointments. The first session, Understanding Your Fall Risk Factors, will begin with introducing lesson objectives and the lesson agenda. The first lesson activity will be a PowerPoint presentation about the consequences of falls. The next lesson activity will continue with a PowerPoint presentation to identify possible biological, behavioral, and environmental risk factors. Once we identify potential fall risk factors, participants will have the opportunity to complete a fall risk assessment, a self-rated fall risk questionnaire adapted from the Greater Los Angeles BA Geriatric Research Educational Clinical Center to identify their fall risk. The lesson will conclude with the participants writing down three biological risk factors, three behavioral risk factors, and three environmental risk factors linked with falls. Finally, we will measure these information acquisition objectives by measuring their responses. The second session, Regaining confidence will begin with introducing lesson objectives, the lesson agenda. The first lesson activity will be a PowerPoint presentation about the importance of seeking medical care to prevent falls. The second lesson activity will be a group discussion to disprove, disprove ne negative beliefs towards aging and increase confidence to combat the fear of falling. The last activity, a PowerPoint presentation, will present strategies for participants to implement at home to prevent falls. The lesson will conclude with the participants writing down one reason to talk to their doctor about falls, one possible barrier to staying confident to preventing fall strategies aimed at increasing home safety. Finally, we will measure these information acquisitions and opinion and expression and development student learning objectives by measuring their responses. For our last lesson plan, we will review the objectives objectives of our lesson plan. We will start by providing a brief lecture about the benefits of exercise, including gait strengthening, balance, and improving, and em emphasizing the importance of remaining physically active. 
This lesson focuses on skills development through gait strengthening by teaching participants how to do a one-legged stand. Participants will have an opportunity to perform this new skill. We will end the lesson by having participants write down three benefits of gait strengthening and three ways to improve balance. We will measure these information acquisition objectives by measuring the responses. We will measure the skill development by how many participants are able to perform this new skill. Thank you. This will conclude our uh, program curriculum of balanced beings. Thank you.